Hit and fly. Get rid of markers now, although it'll make my life very difficult. You want to get some MiG-21 vs F5 in as well? I own neither of those. Serious? How do you not Serious. have the F5? Never really interests me enough to get it. Damn, son. Nearly got away from me. This canopy framing is so obnoxious. Easier to fight in the Tom, or uh, like easier to dogfight in the Tomcat or the MiG 21 visibility wise. Like, this has the worst visibility in the game of any fighter. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good. Su 25T has worse overall, but for the fighters, this is the worst. That's a stall. Pin fly. The F5 is a nice little plane. I don't know what you guys are on about. I really like it. Can't see him yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. The faintest fucking speck on the horizon. Honestly, if the He's only not even thing, that far away. If the only kill I get in this today is that F-15, I wouldn't be sad. Holy shit. Can you hit it? No. Scared the crap out of me, though.
I got greedy. He'll probably still recover this. Oh, in a decent position. Please don't you lock. No. Lucky I spotted him that. Yeah, we got a taste of him. I think he kind of alley G'd between those. Drew his outline a bit. Come on. No, don't you depart on me. Come on, we nearly got him. That might be the end of... Nope. Good save. Buff it right on the edge of it. Okay. Quick kick of the rudder to get the reversal. Flaps. Oh, that was just across his tail. Come on, man. He's teasing me at this point. Spark off the wing. I think that might have been a 37. I'm not sure.
Damn it, I lost you in the overshoot. Oh, he thinks I overshot. <laughs> Fucked up there. Kind of let him reset the fight a bit. Oh, nearly lost it there. be out of ammo soon. There it is. Yeah, likewise. Oh! 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 The save! The save! Oh my that? god. Did you see that first save I did where I almost went into the dirt? Yeah. That was a good fight though. Holy shit. Head fly. My problem is, is like, my track IR, like, right when I get in a position to, to where I feel like I could get around on you, my track IR just, like, bugs out and I lose. Like, my head mod just goes all over the place. Adjust your curves in DCS, that way, uh, they have more viewing strength for less look area. This was a very good fight, though, to watch. Ross got to take advantage of the vertical, which made me happy. Brought tears to my eyes. Don't get used to it. And when you said flaps, dude, I could see the difference. You you looked so confident. Like the the problem, happened. the problem is the flat lever on this is difficult to remember which position it's in, and I can't really look. I mean, I could turn the pilot body off, but I still don't want to look away from him. Whereas in real life, I would have my fucking hand sitting on it, so I would know. I have my hand sitting on it in real life. <laughs> I have a three-way switch for the MiG-15's lap lever. But, um... No, and then, say, favor for you. You got, um... You gotta keep that maneuvering going. Your best friend is the fact that he can't roll. You keep that high speed and maneuvering and he'll never get guns on you. All you have to do is stay out of the vertical. You two did really well. That That was a very fun fight to watch. Anyways, I will move myself for round two. Bit risky, but we should get away with it. Kick the rudder. Get the nose down and just about lost sight of him because I was not paying attention. Get out of his guns. Bring it around. Oh, no you don't. Get a rudder to keep it stable. It's gonna be another head-on pass. I fucking hate head-on passes, man. They're the bane of my existence. But I find it difficult to avoid them. For the first couple of uh, remerges, it's usually once I get settled in on someone's tail, I'm more comfortable. I mean, that sounds dumb as fuck now I think about it, but you guys get what I mean. Like, I just don't like head-ons. 
even if they're on my tail, at least then, like, it's, you know, I can do something about it, but head-ons are just, like, all you can do is fucking jink and hope that they don't hit you. I didn't see where he went. Oh, he's right up my ass. Gatchy gasms in chat. Oh, he hit me. Couldn't quite get the nose on in time, but that could have been a snap if I'd been a little quicker on the reflexes. Thankfully, he only has 50 cals, and the MiG-15 has a reputation for being built like a tank. Get them flappy boys out. turned away from me when he could have turned into me. He's just giving me a six, basically. He'll reverse here, but still, it's not really the best move to make. I'd say I wouldn't have done that, but I'm an idiot, so actually, yeah, I probably would have done it several times by now. He's only done it once. Oh, don't try and get slow with me, boy. This might be a plane built for the vertical, but remember who you're fighting. side of him. I just totally lost sight of him. I am in deep shit. See him. I need to remember to stop cutting the throttle to idle. Sitting on my tail. Hey, Trip. Still back there, I think. Yep, he is. He's right on me. Gotcha! Come 
come here. Oh, you put that air brake away, son. I see that. That's cute. Good reversal. Unless I get him with a lucky hit. Oh, I did. I did. I hit him. Something fell off. Left aileron, it looks like. Well, that should put him on his toes. Oh, cheeky. Watch the ground, son. Get a flappy boys out. Just keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Rudder her in. Keep her in a nice steady turn. Oh. oh, that's the ground. <sighs> I'm sweating like fight. a fucking pig. Yeah, good fight. You fucking scared me for a minute there. If only I had bigger guns. You're bringing I hit fly. Kid. My eyes, Ross. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> I'm in the pit. Yeah, I'm in. For a second, I thought you were gonna die because you just kept spiraling with him, and then you actually extended, got energy under the wings, and climbed. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Like I said, don't get used to it. I have occasional flashes of brilliance. The rest is just stupid. <laughs> Great A, stupid. Yeah, you got me to overshoot you. I'm not gonna lie, I may have BM'd slightly when that happened. I gotta admit, the, the, the gun sight on this jet is really... Do you, uh, Saber, are you uncaging the, um, the sight, or are you just leaving it standard? What is it? Are you uncaging it, the gyro? Yeah, it's uncaged. Oh, I'd never uncage it. Because it's the second you're pointing down the ground return to the radar, it's it all up anyways. It works for me. It's been working for me so far, though. But I, I believe I do agree with you there. If only it was an F2 saber and not an F35. Unfortunately, there was only like 15 F2s made with the 20 millimeter experimental cannons. I lost sight of you for a minute there. Hell, even an F30 or an F40, but not an F35 variant. Ugh. I kind of wish this had fucking machine guns because I just don't have the ammo and the fridge launcher's trajectory is terrible. Stalin's hand will guide you. I need to not be doing this. Probably should have built some separation before doing that as well. And also, you can reduce the the uh, ground clutter by reducing the range of the radar. Oh, I know that, but I, I, I don't know. I just don't like the gyros in general. I'm just so much better at deflective shooting, especially in the saber. like a solid reference point and when the fucking thing I'm using the most to aim is moving around and jittering it makes it virtually impossible for me to comprehend it. I'm 
Now if I can just figure out how to actually fucking start this thing, I'll be sweet. Don't want to be an auto start Andy. I've already had to use it twice today. I feel the deep shame. The deep, deep shame. See if that puts some pressure on him. That was a hit. Interestingly, he's not jettisoning his uh, sidewinders, so that's probably not helping him. I mean, I don't know the drags that much, but it's definitely something. Extra drag, extra weight to log around. And these engines aren't the most powerful things in the world. And these are uh, early jets. You can do it. There we go. Right. That's the crap. I was getting on your too, but I just control it. Yeah, my music bot killed itself earlier. As did my team speak. Everything's been breaking today. I don't know why. Back in. Yeah, I can tell I'm not very good at this. Only one way to learn. With the sabers, you really gotta know what your commitment point is. Only need the fucking stream. I don't need losses. Ask twice. But yeah, it's, it's knowing that recommit point and that point where you have to extend regardless. Sometimes it requires you to give up a six, and if you're relying on the air brake too much, you die. The MiG's gonna out accelerate you every time, no matter what altitude. Yeah. So if you up air brake too much, they broke the warehousing system the on a Friday while there's a pandemic. You to turn back into altitude, and you knew I, you had no energy to get him into it. So turn. the MiG-21 can't get its belly tanks, nor can it, or its wing tanks, nor can it get its fucking countermeasures. So the MiG-21 is limited to like. Not even 15 minute endurance, and has no countermeasures at all, and uh, I don't think you can even take the SPS pod, I don't remember seeing the SPS pod available, maybe it is. If it is, then at least you got some countermeasures, but not many. And then you've got the added weight without it being a fuel tank. Oh, oi, oi, no we don't. No you fucking don't. I am all over the, you know what, there, now you can see I'm all over the rudder in this thing, constantly, just to balance the nose and stop it from dipping in a hard turn.
Oh, he's getting wobbly. It's the attack of the wobbly boy. Oh, shit. He's exploiting my terrible fucking forwards visibility. Motherfucker. Come here. He avoided it this time. A little bit of pressure. Oh wow, one of those hit him. Right there, Saber was really good when you went downwards. You had the energy to completely throw his guns off. You, you also totally way. fucked my visibility. I nearly lost you under the nose a bunch of times. Yeah, no, that was that was really good. You keep that speed up and you keep that roll and jinking around, and Ross will never get guns on you. You just gotta stay out of that vertical. Those vertical fights aren't your friend. That's where you get the advantage back instantly. It's funny, the MiG-15 and the Saber, it literally is, it's it's dancing, and the, the MiG-15 is always leading the fight. It's up to the Saber to figure out how to put its foot, how to step on the MiG-15's foot. That's why I love this combat. My favorite dogfighting in the world, when you look at, like, matchups over the years, whether it's the, the 109 and the Spitfire, or which are the 190, the P-51, all of it, MiG-15 Saber, by far my favorite area. Where did he go? There he is. Jesus, that's some fucking MiG-21 shit right there. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he might go in. No, he won't. Good save. Oh, man, I am drenched in sweat. This is crazy. It's the hardest dogfight I've had in a long time. Give me some nose authority, please. Thank you. Oh, that's the ground. Oh, I wanted to try something cheeky, but I guess I just didn't have the altitude for it. Broke the Mirage's ACM modes again. Amazing. Well done. Can fly. And while you're in banking, it's gonna kill all of your speed. You're just gonna end up stalling the plane faster. If you roll, when you're in those rolling engagements, you have to fully commit to the rolls. If you do half rolls and banks, it's just gonna get you killed. One thing to watch out for that I'm noticing. Oh, no. Okay, we're neutral now. I kind of do want to... Do you want to... You've got the Tomcat, yeah. Of course you do, you've re owed for me. Yeah, I um, do. Do you want to take the Tomcat? And I'll take the 21, because I just want to see if they fix the traces. Yeah, 
Plus, even though I'm hopelessly outmatched in that, I do want to get some 21 gunfighting in. Oh, you would be, you would beat me even in 21 because I am absolutely garbage at the. Oh, at the my 14. legs are so sore. My legs are fucking killing me, my dudes. So much rudder work. Just constantly nursing it one way or the other. But yeah, I mean, I could. If you wanted a real challenge, you'd have me get in a 16. Yeah, but I'm not suicidal. Like, the 16 will smoke the 21 so easily, it's not even funny. Especially in competent hands. Imagine pulling high AOE in a jet without turning your engine on. Or turning your engine off. I, I actually am glad that Yink um, flies the MiG so hard because I'd forgotten what a compressor stall in that thing sounds like. I had kind of forgotten it was even possible to induce one. Yeah, Yink, Yink is probably one of my favorite guys to fly with. Oh, you will do Mirage motherfucker. On blue flag, and we'll just compete for kills and half the time he ends up stealing mine like a dick. Lost you over the ground, Carter. Yeah, he, um, he got a lot while we were flying together. Like, I ended up with a relatively ordinary kill-death ratio, but I think it was just because Yink kept fucking sniping everything. <laughs> he was in the better position a lot of the time, to be honest. Like, he's yeah, more he tactical and I'm just fucking balls to the wall aggro. That's just for me, it's like fucking years of playing on blue flag in the 21 against the 120D, the C, the Phoenix, all of it. He's really good at positioning. It's fun watching him fly in the JTAC screen. Sable, you stop fucking over flying cities. I swear to God. Keep flying over cities? Okay. Bit of pressure. Bit more pressure, make him reverse, which means he bleeds speed and I catch him up. See, oh, right here, right here. Oh, I just couldn't quite get the nose on. That was the best opportunity I've had so far, and I fucking missed it. I just have to wait until he's clear of the fucking houses. Hmm, had about enough of this city shit. That's optimistic. Actually, that nearly hit. Yeet! Up we go. Come up to my house, Sabre. Come up here. Come play with me where I live. He ain't taking the b- oh, he kind of is. Kind of is. Interesting. 
He's going to start diving back down, try and cut under me. Tried to depart on me there. Had to counter it with rudder. It's very much... This is like flying in IL-2. You've got to be on the rudder non-stop to try and counter nope, stalls nope, and spins. Be, yep. Yeah. <sighs> so say this in the spiraling here is where the MIG takes the, the fight. Jesus. Because as you're killing its energy, it can just pull the All right, on. Alright, jump in the uh, 